Hey guys, you can see here he's got the Masso laid out, a lot of parts. Of course, he's going to cover how he's going to do the retrofit. Again, this is the G3 Touch, the newest version of Masso. So we'll continue to let him go. Drives that way. If I want to play around with my uh, uh, fourth and fifth axis trunnion table, um, it'll be ready to go for that. Um, also, I want to. Uh, hook up one of these hand wheels because um, yeah, it's just kind of annoying to have to click on the computer. Okay guys, you can see that we see a shield drain integrated in the pendant that he purchased from Masso. And of course, with that shield drain, we know that they are using the proper cabling, at least in the fact that it's shielded. Uh, this cable is unassembled on that end. He will have to install the connector. But more importantly, you need to terminate this shield drain correctly for that cable to properly mitigate EMI. And once again, as we go through this, it becomes really apparent that there is some major issues. There. Okay, guys, I'm on Masso's website here. You can see right here. And I want to show something, and this is interesting, because this has nothing to do with the end user. I want to show you what so commonly happens with a lot of vendors. Now, once again, Masso is the manufacturer of the pendant he's using. You can see the MPG pendant right here. It's allocated right over here on their uh, scroll bar. And when we scroll down, we can see that there's a connector present, and that's that 15-pin connector that this unit uses. Look at this connector carefully, and you're going to realize they don't allocate a position for the shield drain that I've shown in that video. So when we look at this, who do we hold accountable? We all should hold accountable the vendor, because if they don't understand the equipment they're selling, let me ask you a question. Should they be selling it? It's interesting.